it's time to give peace a chance for both Pakistan and the U.S. We've had enough of fighting. We want peace. And if peace means that you are anti-U.S., then people do not understand. Uh, uh, unfortunately, some people in U.S. think that unless you do whatever the U.S. tells you to do, uh, you are anti-U.S. I believe that it's time for U.S. to uh, make Pakistan a friend rather than a client state, uh, a hired gun which has paid money to do its bidding. I think that that time is over. Pakistan has passed that stage. Uh, the country can no longer take this war anymore. And I think for U.S. also, they should, they should hope that this election brings a partner in peace. And the U.S. needs a peace partner to exit from Afghanistan. Thank you. Okay. Well, I'm going to go back and talk to President Trump about my meeting with Prime Minister Khan. And I'm going to urge him to meet with the Prime Minister as soon as practical. Prime Minister Khan was criticized over the decades, over the past 10 or 20 years, about talking about reconciling with the Taliban. He was right. The one thing I would say is that the war in Afghanistan will end through reconciliation. With Prime Minister Khan, we have a unique opportunity to change our relationship, to go from transactions to strategic and the way to do that is to integrate our economies through a free trade agreement. An IMF loan will stabilize in the short term the Pakistan economy. But if we could ever one day get to an integrated free trade agreement, integrated economies between Pakistan and the United States, that is a game changer for Pakistan. 